Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, and I've just looted an Adamant Vest from the Fong Coast. But how did I know this chest was going to contain an Adamant Vest? After all, there's nothing in the game to suggest that this particular treasure would contain such a nice item. Well, stay tuned and I will teach you how you can download not only the map for this area, but the map for every area in the entire game in one package, completely labelled with all the treasures that you can possibly get, and then farm them to your heart's content. Stay tuned. Generally, in older Final Fantasy games, chests would contain one item and the chest would always spawn the first time you entered that area, which meant that it was going to be difficult, unless you missed the chest, to miss the nice items that they contained within. In Final Fantasy XII and in the Zodiac Age, uh, things have changed a little bit so that there's more randomness involved. Basically, chests, although still having fixed locations, aren't always guaranteed to spawn, and when they do, there's variance involved in what items can be contained within. This means it's entirely possible to either miss a chest because it hasn't spawned, or to open a chest and get something that wasn't the item that you could have got and would have liked, and then never know about it. So, what would be useful is to have these maps that I'm going to show you how to use in a moment, that lay out every area in the game and every treasure chest that you can find in those areas with all the different items that you can loot from them. Now, the good thing about Final Fantasy XII is that you can zone in and out of an area to reset the treasure chests. And aside from a few exceptions, which we'll talk about when we look at the maps, treasure chests will respawn every time you do so. In fact, the Zodiac Age has improved this system because in the original Final Fantasy XII, you'd have to move away four areas before coming back in order to reset the treasures. Now you only have to zone out to the next area and come back in order to do so. First things first then, I have linked in the video description a Reddit post by Reddit user Turpit Luminaire, and I apologise if I've got that name mispronounced, uh, but it's a link where you can go ahead and download the maps that I'm going to be showing you. So first of all, go ahead and check that out and then I'll explain to you how it is these maps actually work so that you can make use of them in your own playthroughs. Right, so this is the link that I've given you and this is Turpit Luminaire's Reddit post. And basically, there's multiple options you can use to download the maps themselves. I've just used this first link which is Mediafire and the link is there, and it downloaded quite quickly. Uh, you can also use this vgmaps.com if you don't want to download, and you can actually just browse them online. But personally, I think it's nice to have, you know, your own local backup. So while the links are active, and you never know how long links are going to be active for in this day and age, I do recommend downloading while you have the opportunity to do so. Okay, now once you've downloaded that file, you can extract it and you'll have access to all of these folders here. You might want to rename the folder name to something if you're going to be storing it on your computer, since the default is all these numbers for the folder name. But anyhow, basically all the areas in the game are represented by their own folder, and you just simply choose the one you want and the maps will be accessible for that area. So for example, we saw that my Characters are currently located in the Fun Coast. So if we go ahead and open that folder, then we can see that all the maps for the Fun Coast are available and we can open them at our leisure. Firstly, if the maps look slightly dated, that's because they were made using the International Zodiac Job System Japanese release, but that doesn't matter because all the treasure locations remain the same for the Zodiac Age. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, quite simply, they mean this in this order. The actual number itself that's located in the black circle is the number that corresponds with that treasure on the map so that you know where you're going. The next word, which is either yes or no, in most cases is going to be yes, meaning that the treasure in question is going to respawn when you rezone. If it says no, then it's a one-time only treasure that can't be farmed. Next up, we have multiple numbers going across from left to right for each treasure. And they mean this. The first number is a percentage, and that basically is the percentage chance of the chest spawning each time you zone in. The next percentage, which is the next number, is the chance that the chest will contain money or gill instead of an item. So if it's a 50% chance, then half of the time that chest is going to spawn gill. The third number, which has a kind of wiggly line before it, is the maximum amount of gill that can spawn in that chest if it does in fact spawn gill. 
Then next up, we have four items for each chest. The top two are the standard items that can drop, and the bottom two are the items that can drop if the party leader has the diamond armlet equipped. So without the diamond armlet, if the chest is going to drop an item, then each of the two items has a 50% chance of dropping one or the other. With the diamond armlet equipped, the most common item is the Knot of Rust, as you can see, which will have a 90% chance of dropping, with the secondary item having a 10% chance of dropping. So you can basically go in and out of the zones and farm these chests to your heart's content. Going back to our example, chest number 96 had a 70% chance of spawning, and if an item spawned, it had a chance to be the Adamant Vest, hence how I knew that we could get that item. Anyway folks, I hope this little video has been helpful to you. If it has, let us know in the comments section. Maybe even drop a like if you want to support me. And come back soon, check out the playlist and we'll carry on with more Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. We're doing a complete walkthrough of the game. Please do come back and join us for that. I look forward to it. I've been your host Fuzzfinger. See you again soon.